Well, this is part of St. Patrick's Cathedral, everybody, that a lot of people don't see. Cardinal Timothy Dolan here continuing our virtual tour of our spiritual home, our St. Patrick's Cathedral. Uh, I'm standing in front of the crypt below the main altar of our beloved America's Parish Church, St. Patrick's Cathedral, uh, where the archbishops of New York are buried, my predecessors. Okay, a little story here. The day it was announced that I was to be the Archbishop of New York, I had the 7 a.m. Mass with Cardinal Egan, my esteemed predecessor, who is buried here. And right afterwards, all the press was here and everything, and I said, I whispered to Cardinal Egan, could I visit the crypt below the main altar? And he said, well, sure, why? I said, well, I'd like to say a prayer in gratitude and with reverence upon my predecessors, and I don't mind telling you, I want to see where I'm going to be buried. Because it's good for us always to keep our eternal destiny in mind. So here's where my predecessors are buried. You'd see some great names here. Uh, Archbishop Hughes, you'll see Cardinal Cook, you see Cardinal Spellman, you see Cardinal O'Connor, you see Cardinal Egan. And one of these days you'll see Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Pierre Toussaint is buried there, who one day I hope uh, becomes uh, a saint. So anyway, it's a special place in the cathedral reminding us of the communion of saints, that our family, and this is our family home, our family is not just the here and now, it's those who have gone before us, see? We, we build on our, our mothers and fathers in the faith. And for me, literally, this altar of St. Patrick's Cathedral, where I do the most important thing I can every day, offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass, is literally on the foundation of the archbishops that have gone before me.